Welcome guys, welcome or welcome back to Claydesk. So if you're fascinated by the world of cloud computing and you want to kickstart your career, that's both exciting and rewarding by the way. And then this video is for you. So today I'm gonna to dive into the career path of an AWS support engineer, exploring everything from what they do, the skills needed and how you can become one. All right, so an AWS support engineer is basically a technical expert who assists customers in troubleshooting and optimizing their use of Amazon Web Services. Now, these professionals ensure that the clients get the most out of AWS by providing support, resolving issues, and offering guidance on best practices, right? So what is the AWS support engineer? So basically, the role is all about problem solving and communication, two key aspects, right? and they work directly with customers to identify issues, they provide solutions and help them achieve their goals using AWS. Basically ensuring that the clients get most out of AWS services. All right, the two types of support engineers, by the way, so it depends on what you want to become. The first is the technical support engineers, basically focusing on helping customers with general issues that relate to AWS products, right? basically troubleshooting problems and provide guidance on using AWS effectively. The other type of support engineer is the cloud support engineers. They handle more complex issues requiring an in-depth knowledge of AWS services and architectures. And mostly they're sometimes AWS certified as well. So they work on performance optimization, security compliance, and advanced troubleshooting. All right. Here's the good part, the salary and number of jobs for the AWS support engineers. Well, there are over 15,000 job openings in the US as we speak. And the number keeps growing, by the way. The salaries range from 70,000 to $120,000 per year. That's a pretty nice salary for a support engineer. Whereas the entry level, mid-level or senior level you see right here on the screen, and it depends on your expertise, your knowledge. So once you get into the interview process, you get to negotiate your salaries based on your existing skill level, right? For example, if you obtain an AWS certification, such as an AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification or a Solutions Architect, well, you can certainly demand a higher salary. The roles and responsibilities basically includes several things, right? The key areas that I focus here is first troubleshooting. So you ought to be able to diagnose and resolve technical issues related to AWS services, right? And then you have customer support. You need to be a great communicator. You need to assist clients with different questions that they ask and then provide solutions to their problems, right? You also should be able to do system optimization where you're basically analyzing the system performance and then suggest improvements. Security is a no brainer. It's always a must, basically ensuring AWS deployments meet the required security standards. And then finally, you have documentation. And of course, with that, what that means is basically creating and maintaining a knowledge base articles and guides. How do you actually become a support engineer, right? Well, first, you ought to have a degree in computer science or related field. But let me give you the good news. You don't need a degree, by the way, to get a support engineer job. And that's a plus. All you need is basically a certification, which is number three on the list, but I'm jumping the gun, right? So if you are an AWS certified individual, right, and you have some projects under your hand and you've done so, then that's all you need to get a job. But if you have a computer science degree, well, certainly it's a plus. You need to have experience also. Well, how do you gain experience if you're a newbie or if you're a fresher? Well, the best way to gain experience is working on projects, right? You open up an AWS free tier account, and then you get to learn and perform various projects, right? Or you take courses online. I'm gonna get to that later as well. And then finally, the skills development, such as networking, computing, and different skills in different AWS services. All right, so the career progression basically starts with a junior AWS support engineer. You can progress to senior engineer, and eventually to roles like AWS Solutions Architect or AWS Technical Account Manager. This career progression, by the way, is often based on experience, performance, and acquiring additional certifications, right? So you see different career progression levels that I've listed here. These are the common ones, right? But there are many, many other roles. And again, it depends on your 
experience and the projects that you worked on? The skills and knowledge that are required, basically you need to have knowledge of ECS, S3, RDS, Lambda, and more core services of AWS. And in terms of networking, of course, VPCs, ALBs, ELBs, DNS, VPNs, all these buzzwords, you get to learn, you get to work on them, and then obtain some certifications. The operating system expertise in Linux and Windows, I will stress that Linux is a definitely a must, so make sure you have those under your belt. Scripting languages, Python or PowerShell, but I would stick with Python. You don't need to be a programmer, by the way, just basic Python fundamental knowledge, right? And then, of course, uh, understanding of the IAM uh, in terms of security best practices and encryption areas within the AWS core services. So it's a broad area. You don't need to have in-depth uh, technical knowledge unless you want to jump to the AWS certified solutions architect level, right, or a senior engineer. But for the support engineer, you need to have a broad yet a similar skill set within these services. So you need to understand how these services work together and how they integrate with each other. How do you develop basically your support skills, right? Well, there are many, many ways. The best way is to, of course, take free courses, which is online courses, right? You can go to Coursera. You can take courses right here at Claydesk. I have full courses. Whatever you need, whether it's AWS certified cloud practitioner, solutions architect, data engineer, you name it, support engineer, you can take those free courses right here at Claydesk. You can definitely explore other platforms such as Udemy or AWS training as well. Because if you have different venues of training, right, that's better. And hands-on practice is definitely a must, mandatory, I should say. Just go ahead and open up an AWS free tier account and you have access to the AWS cloud platform where you can actually practice hands-on with all these different services. Books and guides are also helpful. And these are helpful when you actually get into projects, right? So if you, let's say you want to host a website on um, Amazon Light Sale, well, these guides and books and white papers are gonna help you give you step-by-step -step instructions, right? You can also join community uh, forums and different groups, okay? and that's where you actually get to learn from experienced individuals. You can post your questions, you can start a discussion. The support engineer learning path, uh, it's straightforward. I've put four things up here. Introduction to basic AWS courses or the core services. Then you get to the solutions architect associate level. You can actually jump into sysop admin and then advanced certifications or specializations such as security networking or big data or data engineer. And it, AWS also has come out with uh, new certifications like AI practitioner, right? And AI data engineer. So these are all the learning paths that you can actually venture into once you get the basics under your belt. And that's really important for you. All right, so the career advice that I give to all the students that I have is stay updated, keep learning new AWS services because of course technology is changing every single day as we speak. So building soft skills is also important like communication and problem solving because you will be interacting in different meetings with uh, different teams such as developer teams, the operations team, or maybe stakeholders. So understanding and getting your communication at par is also very, very helpful and it will help you long ways. And then networking, attending AWS events, joining communities. They have reInvent every year, for example, that you can manage and go to or your local events that you can search and then join and go meet people. And then setting goals and career path and milestones. And this is important too, because you ought to know where you are now and where you like to be in the next maybe two years or short term and even long term. So that's how you can progress easily. Here's some job tips. Make sure you highlight everything that you've learned, your projects and your certifications on your resume. And relevant skills are important. Don't list everything, right? Just make sure you list all of your relevant skills because when they ask you questions, you ought to be able to answer effectively. And preparing for interviews and then practical technical questions because they will give you a scenario, right? Within the interview question, for example, like when I interview people, I give them a scenario. Well, here's the situation, what do you do, right? So you ought to be able to understand the question and then, of course, respond accordingly. 
showcase your projects. So if you have uh, set up a website and you hosted a site on Amazon platform or you have configured a VPC, well, that's exactly when you want to explain and showcase your existing expertise. If you have certifications, that's great. You ought to be able to share your certifications because the certifications simply validate your skills and knowledge. All right, here's some resources that will help you along your way. AWS training and certification, their official courses and exams. You can learn and get to read the white paper. Uh, you can visit the blog, uh, blog.claydesk.com. I have all these resources right there so you can not miss, right? So make sure you go through the AWS well-architected framework, the white papers, technical documents, online communities, like I mentioned earlier, and of course, various books if you're into reading and then understanding and then doing. The training courses mentioned earlier, you can take the full course right here, AWS Certified Solutions Architect by Claydesk. Uh, you can also take a look at AWS Skill Builder, which is online labs. You can join Coursera. There are many, many courses out there. And then, of course, AWS training and certifications on the AWS site that you can explore and take a look at. And then, of course, based on your own career goal and path, you can then work accordingly. All right. So uh, last but not least, a couple of things. Support engineer certifications. Many, many out there, but I've listed the four important ones, which is the Solutions Architect Associate. That's what you need to at least focus on and meet your goal. And then you can also get into SysOp Admin, the Solutions Architect Professional, and then the Specialty. There are many new ones also, so make sure you take a look at those. I've mentioned those earlier, like the Artificial Intelligence Certifications that AWS just came out with that you can also pursue. All right, so finally, the communities that you can join, AWS developer forums are out there. You can uh, go to Reddit or Claydesk, you can take a look at that, or AWS, LinkedIn groups. And these are all meetups and conferences, basically allowing you to understand where AWS is heading, what are the opportunities out there, what are the skills that I may need additional skills, right? So this will give you the, basically all the requirements that you would need as an AWS support engineer. I hope this helps. Let me know and comment down below where you are. And of course, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. With that, thank you for watching. My name is Syed. I'll see you guys next time.